Hello, how are you guys? My name is Rafael. Uh, full disclosure here, I'm not a mechanic. I'm a truck driver. Uh, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. And uh, if you own a truck, I think you should do the same. Um, I wanted to make this quick video because a couple of days I was driving on the freeway and uh, I got a code on my road relay on my truck. This guy right here. Um, I got this code. Uh, that you can see right there SPN 1209 active engine controller suspect whatever you see right there um, when I saw this uh, code on my truck I noticed that um, the this truck started to shake it's a, a Volvo 2011 with the Cummins engine by the way the truck started to shake and uh, when I shift from one speed to the next, I noticed something like, uh, I would describe it as a cough. When when I shift from, from one speed to the next, the engine will cough and it will shake a little bit. Um, I did uh, some research regarding that code and uh, I found out that the, the problem was this little guy right here. This sensor, what's the problem? This is the part number. It's a sensor pressure, and it looks like this. Um, I head up to uh, Volvo to get the part. Um, I spent about $100, and all it took me was a socket and 10 minutes of my time, and I was able to change it. I wanted to make this video to help all the drivers. If you see that code on your, on your um, computer, or in your dashboard the problem is that and if you have a Cummins engine I'm assuming like I said I'm not a mechanic that's what the problem is going to be now I want to show you where the sensor is located on my truck and it could be on the same uh, location on yours now one thing that I wanted to show you first is that this is not the sensor but I wanted to show you this little tab that has to be removed to remove the plug on the sensor Again, this is not the sensor, but it's easier to see right here, that little tab. This little tab, you have to slide it out to get the plug out. Because if you try to unplug it without removing this, you're going to break the plug. Now, let me show you where the sensor is located. This is the passenger side of the truck. That's the engine. And let me climb right here. The sensor is right there. That's the one. All I needed to do was remove the plug and uh, with the socket, uh, I was able to remove that sensor. Uh, on this uh, case, I had to remove this hose to get access for the, for the socket. And uh, it only took me 10 minutes. I remove it. I run the truck for uh, uh, this morning for a couple of hours and the, the code is gone and I, haven't seen any other um, issues, any other coughing or loss of power on the on the truck. So again, just a quick video for you guys, any other driver out there that has this code, check that sensor. It costs you a hundred bucks and it takes a few minutes to change. Because I thought, you know, if, if you go to the shop these days just to diagnose a problem, you're gonna pay a, 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 a few hundred, you know, a, a, a few bucks, you know, just to get diagnosed. So I thought, why not uh, take a chance, uh, buy the sensor, and uh, fortunately, in this instance, it fixed the problem. Okay, guys, drive safe, and I hope everyone is doing good. Take care. Till the next.